I honestly believe that when you die, you rot in the ground and worms eat you, and that becomes your purpose after that moment. <laughs> Numero uno. Oh, wow. What are you addicted to and why? I thought I didn't have too much trouble with addiction as I was growing up, and then I found uh, marijuana. The devil's lettuce. I always wondered why it had that name, and then a few years in, I found out. <laughs> yeah, definitely got fucking hooked on that shit. I think as uh, pressures started to uh, rise in my, in my life and, um, and responsibilities started to roll in, there were things I didn't want to like, face up to. Used it definitely to uh, escape escape those thoughts um, to the point where it's just a daily thing. It was like, couldn't sort of imagine a day without smoking a zoo. And uh, <laughs> when I realized that that dependence had definitely rolled in and that the myth of it not being addictive uh, was definitely untrue, I uh, started to rethink it. And then it was another few years before I managed to sort of get rid of it. Still an ongoing process, but it's mostly, mostly, mostly gone, uh, which I'm really, really actually really, really happy about. <laughs> uh, yeah, affects people in different ways. Fuck me up. <laughs> Question number two. Are you happy? Ow! Mostly. Mostly, yeah. Um, yeah, mostly. If I'm not sitting on a chair in front of a screen, I'm out, I'm using my hands, being physical, I'm happy. But uh, yeah. Yeah, mostly. Who is your biggest inspiration outside of parkour? Um, recently, probably Pete, Whit Pete Whitaker from uh, up in Sheffield. He's a climber, a uh, crack climber. Done some uh, videos with them and stuff. Uh, since actually spending time with him, that, that try hard mentality just really, really resonates with me. Like. If it's hard, he's happy. Like if a challenge like takes a bit of a grind and uh, sort of beats you down a bit and all that, like, yeah, I just really, really respect his approach to challenge, like regardless of his experience and uh, his approach to general, general, general life actually, like runs a business, super efficient with keeping his fitness up and, and pushing his videos and and, uh, but yeah, mostly it's just like his innate like desire to challenge himself and, and try really hard. Um, and then in terms of like storytelling and, and, and filmmaking and things like that, uh, this guy, Bo Miles in Australia, he just uh, does these incredible stories on YouTube and, and, and I really just resonate with his energy and uh, he's a fellow ginger as well, so that helps. Number uh, four. Hardest battle you faced in parkour? Um, uh, in terms of like movement, I'm, if if I don't like have a battle, I'm not really that satisfied. So most sessions, I'll have some kind of like physical battle that takes me like you know a long time to overcome. But uh, uh, in terms of more a more psychological side of it, it's probably when I hurt my back in 2018. I was out for eight nine months. Not sure too many people aware of how long I was out for them but yeah that really like made me question the future of the sport for me I was like is this it I don't know if I'm coming back uh if I am I've got to rope things in and uh yeah a massive part of my identity was just sort of taken away from me for such a long time um it was the first time I really started considering like the end of the sport uh horrible horrible period coming out the back of that I was glad that uh, I had store and people around me to just keep me in it keep me motivated and then it and then uh yeah i've i've loved the sport more than ever before that injury um when i came out of it yeah what is your greatest achievement in parkour uh i'd like to say being a part of uh Stora. being a cog in the workings of the Stora growth um it's given me everything I, I dreamt of 
when I was 11, 12, 13, starting the sport, even though it was a total fluke. <laughs> Your greatest achievement outside of parkour? Ooh, back to back. Um, it kind of does feel like an achievement, but I don't, know if, I don't know if it is an achievement, but finding like climbing and getting into climbing, I feel like I, <laughs> I did achieve that because for so long I was like, right, parkour is my sport. Everything else is going to be like an add-on. And more and more climbing is feeling like a part of me now as well. And I've been doing it long enough that, uh, yeah, I'm getting the same feelings I got in those early years of parkour. And it's, uh, yeah, it's potentially something I'll actually do for longer. Um, it feels like an achievement that I found that because for so long I was putting walls up um, in fear that I would let parkour drift away in the background. Um, so, yeah. Favourite training shoes and why? Um, Adidas Galaxies. Oh my god! <laughs> They're incredible. They're incredible, man. The grippiest shoes I've ever worn, like out the box. Um, you get on a wall and you feel like gravity is lower. It's, it's crazy. You can take impact once they're worn in. They're a little bit techy as well. Um, love them. Favourite training shoes, easily. Galaxy 4s, to be precise. Number eight, what makes you different? Um, not many gingers about. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know, really. I, I like to think I'm a bit of, uh, of an all-rounder. Definitely not in parkour. Um, uh, I generally stick to my fundamentals in, in the parkour world, but uh, in general life, I like to, I like to try everything and I, and I really value giving things a chance. Um, and trying as, as many different things as possible because you miss out otherwise, I think. You get too, too engrossed and, too, and too, uh, too tunnel visioned on one thing, I think you can miss out on a lot. Um, big respect for people that can just set their sights on one thing and they've circulated their whole life around it, but there's so many things that, that I wanna do. I wanna get, get better at climbing, I wanna I don't know, I want to build a summer house in my garden with my bare hands. <laughs> I, want to, I want to make tree houses. I want, to, I want to make stories of my filmmaking about other things. Uh, and yeah, I, want to, I just want to try as many things as possible uh, before my time on earth is, uh, is finished. Um, but yeah, don't know if that makes me different. Do you feel you have a purpose in life and why? I don't feel like I have a purpose in life. I, I honestly believe that when you die, you rot in the ground and worms eat you. And that becomes your purpose after that moment. I, I, uh, I think if I was to give life a purpose, it would be to try and hold on to the moment a little bit more. Uh, and to embrace the moment. I'd say that was that would probably be Purpose, not really a purpose. Mm. A purpose in life and why? To help make the people around you happier, I reckon. I reckon that's uh, that would probably be a purpose that I would lock onto and like to think that I try and embody is to make the people around you comfortable and happy and and uh, work together to just enjoy your days. I reckon. Final one. Trace your free runner or parkourist. Parkourist. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs>